Hi everyone, it's Moon here again, uh, Product Manager at Smart. Uh, today I have even more new features to share with you in Smart Learning Suite. Uh, but before I start, I want to give a big shout out to our C's uh, and to our dev team uh, who actually debuted the feature I'm just about to show you uh, in a hackathon project last year. So it's really exciting for us to bring one of the ideas that we worked on with our uh, teacher community to the actual product. So yeah, so I'll, I'll show you what that's all about. Um, so you can see I have a lesson that I'm editing here. And the first page here is uh, a superstore activity. Um, so the lesson is on ancient Egypt. So I built this activity using the simple theme because none of the themes currently in lab really fit uh, what I'm teaching here. So it's kind of silly to put in a pirate theme for something like King Tut and Ramses. So I decided to use a simple theme, which is not very exciting. So how can we improve that? So if I exit out of the preview, and go to edit. Uh, in the super sort uh, activity, when you go to the themes page, you'll notice that there's a new button called custom. So you can select that option. And what that will let you do is actually customize the images and backgrounds for that theme. So if I go next here, uh, you'll see this user interface that allows you to import your own images uh, for both the drop zones, the items, as well as the background. So for example, because this is uh, Egypt, uh, I prepare some images that I can insert into the activity, like the pyramids here. Um, you can actually adjust um, the, the size of so your image isn't quite right. You can resize it uh, and move this around. So I think I'll just stick with uh, the full image uh, and save that. So you can see that changed my background. Uh, and I can also use images uh, for the different drop zones. So for King Touch, I'm going to use this image, save that. And I also have another one for Ramses. Okay. Uh, and then the last thing is I can also select an image for the items. Uh, so I prepared one here. So you can see very quickly using my own images, I now made this activity really uh, exciting and uh, more appropriate for the content that I'm trying to deliver. Um, a couple of other things that you can customize. So you can see once I added my own images, uh, some of the text here became a little bit less readable. Uh, so you do have the option to toggle the text color too between white and black. So depending on whether your background is a little bit darker or lighter, uh, you can change that from white to black and make it more readable. Um, you can also do that, of course, with the text down here. Uh, you can adjust the size a little bit to a certain degree. So if you have uh, particular locations uh, in your background image, you want these drop zones to go, you can move them and resize them. Um, if you want to experiment with a little bit different layout, you can also use this button at the top here uh, to just flip things around. So you can have this, uh, this layout where the, the drop zones are on the left and the items are on the right, uh, or on the bottom, on the right-hand side here. And I'll go back to my default here because I, I think this one works well for this activity. And once you're done, all you have to do is just press Finish. And I'll go back to my preview. And there's, now here's my new exciting activity with all of the great uh, images of Egypt I just added to it uh, to make it even more engaging. So as you can see, with these simple features, you can actually customize um, your superstore activities uh, to whatever you want. Uh, here are some examples of what you can do. Uh, we had our uh, internal teams uh, take uh, this feature and brainstorm all kinds of ideas on what you can create. So I'll just show you a couple of examples for inspiration. So here you can see there's a, a really carnival, really cool carnival theme one. Uh, or if you're teaching the students about the solar system, there's one uh, on that, uh, or perhaps a science related theme. Um, so with this feature, I think the possibilities are endless. Uh, just to note though, uh, that this custom theme uh, is only available right now for the Superstore activity. We will be looking to um, port this feature to other activities as well, so it'll allow you to customize uh, things like uh, match, uh, matching and uh, ranking down the road. Yeah, so give that a try. I'm sure you guys will be more creative than we can be here, so looking forward to see all the great themes that you create. Uh, thanks, everyone. Uh, looking forward to uh, talking to you next time.